This video clip presents the implemented changes in the Tool Settings panel. Let's, for example, activate the Wall tool and open the Wall Settings dialog box. You can notice that the Listing and Labeling panel is not included in this dialog box. By default, it is hidden now and called just Listing. You can make it appear in the Tool Settings by customizing your work environment. To do this, open the Options, Work Environment, Work Environment Profiles, and select the Tool Settings dialog boxes. Click on the closed eye icon next to the listing to make it reachable in the Tool Settings dialog box. In our example, we set it for the wall. Click OK to save the changes. As you can see, the listing now appears in the dialog box. Another change in the Tool Settings panels is that the relation to Zones Control has been moved to the Model panel from the Listing and Labeling panel of the Wall Tool. In the Curtain Wall Settings, the relation to Zones Control has been moved to the Member Placement panel. Changes can be found in the settings in connection with undo crops as well. Let's see it in detail. Select the 3D zone in the model and open its settings dialog. As you can see, the undo crops commands cannot be found on the model panel. The undo top crops and the undo bottom crops commands are now jointly called undo all crops and have moved to design, roof extras. The Undo All Crops command is available, for example, for Zone, Wall, Window, Door, and Column elements. Finally, let's see the change in the Object Type Tool settings, namely that the parameters for Listing tab is now called Descriptions.